Hello. I don't have my video editing capability at the moment, so we're going to try a slightly more primitive version. This video is about this guy here. Some people know him as Jehovah, some people God. This is a depiction of him, um, which was painted by Michelangelo on the roof of the Sistine Chapel many hundreds of years ago. And this picture was given to me by an uncle when I was a kid and hung on my bedroom wall for many years. So, in a kind of a way, I do know God. Anyway, I have written something down. I've prepared something, so I'm just going to read what I've written and then upload the video at some point. The subtitle for this video should be called Stating the Bleeding Obvious but this is used as an argument so often and by so many people that I feel the need to make a video about it. Whether it's Venom Fang X or other recent commenters on my videos, I and my fellow non-believers often get accused of being creator-haters. Let's just consider for a moment what being atheist actually means. If anyone disagrees with the title of the video, then now is the time to listen carefully. Atheists do not believe that God is real. I know this is very hard for a lot of theists to take on board because every fibre of their being assumes that God's existence is an established fact, which would mean that a sceptic must be in some sort of denial of reality. Or so they think. So when we ask a theist how they feel about the existence of Osiris, Odin or Brahma, they don't seem to be able to make the connection between how they feel about these other gods and how we feel about their god. I shouldn't need to, but I'd better make it clear that I'm not talking about all believers here. Only the ones who persist in saying that atheists hate God. Claiming such a thing is absurd. It's nonsensical. If they qualified such statements by saying that we hate the concept of God, or the idea of a celestial dictator, then they might have a point. But my point is that it's impossible to hate something, or someone, which as far as we're aware does not exist. I mean, if I went round telling people that they hate the Easter Bunny, I'd get some very odd looks, and rightly so. Unlike some of my fellow non-believers, I'm not keen on slagging off Christians and telling them that they're stupid and deluded. There are two main reasons for this. Firstly, it's not really in my nature to be like that. I'd rather human beings got along amicably, amicably than fight about their differences. And secondly, I happen to know a lot of Christians who are very nice people, both online and in real life. Those birds are loud. Anyway, nothing I can do about them now. The camera's rolling. Um, I was recently at a wedding with a strong religious element. A lot of the stuff, particularly the prayers, went over my head. And like I've done all my life, I found myself looking round at the other people when everyone else had their heads bowed. There are usually a couple of others whom I can share an amused smile with before the end of the prayer. My point is that some of the most openly Christian people I know are also some of the kindest and most generous. But there are some real idiots, so the argument which a lot of Christians put forward, which states that morality and integrity come from God, just don't ring true. What I mean is there are real idiots too. Some atheists are also idiots. It seems pretty clear to me that nice people are nice in spite of their beliefs, not necessarily because of them. The fact that I know so many really nice Christians, including some older and with more life experience than me, causes me to question my own assumption that the foundations of religion are all nonsense. I don't know that they are, even though all the evidence I've encountered so far suggests that this is indeed the case. I guess I'm allowing a bit of my wish thinking I guess I'm allowing a bit of my wish-thinking to cloud my judgement. But hey, it's hard to speak your mind sometimes when you know it will likely cause upset. As I've said before, I would describe myself as an agnostic atheist. That is, someone who doesn't claim to know the definitive answer to the does God exist question. But assumes, due to the lack of evidence, that he doesn't. So whatever God is supposed to be, 
different things to different people, I have no good reason to believe that he, she, or it is anything more than a figment of the imagination of the believer. Some theists make a big thing of their faith, the fact that they don't know either, but they believe it anyway, whilst others try to cherry-pick any evidence which suggests that there might be a creator and try desperately to prove his existence without resorting to faith. So to sum up, it is illogical to suggest that atheists hate something imaginary whether God is imaginary or not. And as far as faith goes, most of us non-believers require something tangible to be able to believe something. All the arguments I've heard so far have been unconvincing. In order to move the discussion forward between believers and non-believers, it is necessary for the believers to understand our position correctly and also for us to understand the believer's position correctly. So we need to be clear about the difference between an alleged creator called God and the concept or idea of a God. If we don't say we hate something, then it's illogical to assume that we do. Thanks for watching.